Hello. So, uh, <laughs> hi, there uh, you go. Hi, Anne. Good evening. Now, good evening. Good evening. <laughs> How are you today? I'm great. Mm, that's good to hear. How was your um weekend? What did you do? I study. Oh, study again? Whole weekend, Saturday yeah. and Sunday. Wow. <laughs> that's nice. Okay, that's nice. You're very. Yeah. You're very dedicated with your studies. Yes. <laughs> and um, did you eat for dinner already? Yes, oh. I eat. Uh -huh. What did you eat? I ate chicken wings. Oh, chicken wings. <laughs> I love chicken wings. <laughs> okay, so anyway, so um, we have a lot of things to do today. And first is, um, did you do your homework? Yeah. Oh. Um. What homework is that? Well, you give her two homework and she did yeah. off. Yeah. I. Oh. So that's good. So let's start off first with the emotion. Okay. Can I can with me a minute? Okay. Sure. Okay, then. Okay. Zoom. <laughs> okay, let me give oh. you. Yeah, wait. <laughs> okay, go. Mm. Yeah, okay. can you share your screen now? Hey, can I have a... okay. Sorry, it's the wrong, it's the wrong one. Sorry. Oh, I love this. I'm all, I'm all yeah, I'll just say Yeah, this the actual one. Oh, it's in word. Mm -hmm. No, it's in pen. Oh, in P. Oh. What's that? Oh. What? Is it Microsoft? What? Word? No, it's. Yeah. PDF something? Yeah, PC. This one is. Oh, I can see yeah. heart. Mm. <laughs> Hello? Okay, so tell me. Um, since you put that one, since you put that um, emotion with heart, so can you please tell me um, how, um, how will, um, why do people feel that like there's a heart in their eyes? She don't know how to describe it because she kind of the language she don't know how to speak it in English. Oh, it's okay. So anyway, can you please tell me about this um, emotions that you put here? Mm -hmm. I will not ask questions, so just, um, yes. The first one, the first one is love. Oh, love, yes, I can see heart. It's basically in love or love. Yeah? This is, this is, this is the feeling that uh, she said that this is the feeling that you love something or someone. You lost something? Love something. Oh. Someone, that means you like it a lot or... That's number one, me. the first? Yeah. Yes. Okay, okay. That's right. That's correct. That's correct. It shows like um, you love that person. Oh, <laughs> Okay, how about the second one? I'm curious about that. One. The second one is a happy face. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah. Happy? Yeah. Yes, I can see happy face. That's right. How about the <laughs> third? <laughs> oh, it's silly. Okay, being silly. That's correct. <laughs> so do you do that one when you're being silly with your sister? Do you do that? Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay, how about the fourth? The fourth is shock. 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 <laughs> will our eyes really become like big and our mouth will be open when we're shocked? <laughs> Yeah, that's basically um, like it's somehow like um, a reaction. Like I'm not saying that everyone, but most of the people, especially most of the people I know, when they're shocked or surprised, they literally like open their mouth and open their eyes as well. So that's correct. <laughs> do you do? Are you like that as well? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, but she always cover or cover her mouth. <laughs> so we cannot see your mouth like that. <laughs> okay. Oh, I can see the fifth one is crying. Yeah. Oh, it's sad. Okay, it's a sad one crying. How about the red one? Oh angry very angry okay so um did you notice like um when someone is like very angry or because i've seen like there i've seen fights already like shouting and yelling and that person will really like turn red that's why um this red emoji really described that the that a person is angry because that is like that is the fact that when people when someone is angry of course it looks like the blood is boiling <laughs> the blood will um, get into your head so it you will look red a little bit red so that's correct angry red okay and i see i see the next one sleepy yeah. Oh, that's right. Sleepy. Are you sleepy? Mm -hmm. Hmm? Yeah. Are you sleepy, me? I mean, Anne. Sorry. Are you sleepy? I don't know. No. No. Not now. Not now. Okay. How about the last one? Oh, what's that? That's when you want to talk, honey. That is uh, disgusting. disgusting. Okay, disgusting. Yeah, that's disgusting. Okay, it's disgusting. Okay, uh, so, <laughs> <laughs> so since you put these emojis here, I think that you feel have you felt all of these? Oh. Queen, queen, queen. Wow. I love what? that. What are you? You know, I'm not a I'm not a tacky person, so I I I don't know, like you can do that. Wow. How did you do that? <laughs> yeah, we do that. Oh, that's nice. Oh, wow, I can see that you're really good in computer, IT, wow, maybe I'll try to make something like that too, that's nice, what, what is that, is it an application, what kind it's, of, it's an uh, app that every computer have, yeah, you mean the Microsoft, Mm, maybe but 
It's not pants. Pants? Uh, pants. Sorry? Pants. P -I -I -N -T. Oh, paint. 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 Yeah, paint. Mm, wow. That's nice. I haven't tried that one. <laughs> wow, it's nice. So good because you're being, you're, you're being creative and at the same time, you use technology. And that is what is um, like people are using right now, technology, more on technology. So it's good that you associate technology with our class today. Good job, Anne. Very good. Okay, so good job. Thank you so much for doing your homework and making this one. So I really appreciate that. Do you have questions about the emotions? No, she don't have one. Okay, so since you don't have question, how about your second homework? Okay, so let me ask you okay so since i ask you to remember the month of the year in english okay from the first to the last the 12th okay so i will listen so i will i will listen and i will um <laughs> let's see if you really did study that Okay, so you Hello. can start. Well, then the account like that, she has three homework. What's the other? Wait. Oh, uh, describe about some, uh, uh, about her family. Oh, yeah, that's one. That's right. That's right. Okay, let's do that one first. And then maybe let's do Let's do that about family and then tomorrow, I'll give you time. Tomorrow will be the month of the year. Okay. okay. And also she, she didn't did about me. She did about our brother because I don't even know what myself like. Yeah. How could oh yeah, know? I asked you to describe, right? Yeah, but I don't even know about myself and the, how so, so do she. So yeah, we did about our little brother. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. That's totally fine. So okay, let me hear what you have to say about your little brother. Here, you know, copy. Sure. <laughs> The boy over there is my little brother. He has a big body, really dark brown eyes, and black hair. He a cute and smart boy. Sometimes he can be frisky and a bit clumsy. <laughs> he likes to play all day, especially. 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 Playing with his toy. Oh. He's a friendly and kind boy. The, he the best brother that I ever had. Oh, that's, that's so sweet. Yeah. Oh, that's so sweet. The best brother I ever had. Okay, so, <laughs> so based on what you read, I can see that you really love your brother. And also, I can see how adorable your brother is. Okay, so I know that that age, like four, right? He's four? Four years old? Yeah, he's four years old. Yeah, okay, so that age, it's, it's all about play. So all you have to do is also play with him because that is what they really need during that stage in their life. Four years old, it's all about play. Okay, so good thing that your brother has sisters like you guys. Okay, where he can learn a lot and at the same time learn, play, and have fun. Okay, so very good. Thank you so much for doing that and good job. And of course, thank you, Ni, for helping and for 
guiding Anne. Okay, I know that you you also help her, so that's good. Okay, helping each other. That's nice. <laughs> okay, so anyway, your third homework will be tomorrow. Okay, about the month of the year, so you you still have one day another. I only I mean Friday. You still have like how many days? For you to memorize, for you to memorize it, okay? Okay, because we we will now start with your lesson, so we can proceed, okay? All right. So now let's continue. Let's now start. Okay. So last Friday, um, you saw the story of thunder's birthday like what happened in thunder's birthday so just a short recap or review on what happened during thunder's birthday mm -hmm. They celebrate Thunder birthday and play a lot of games. Yeah, they play a lot of games. What else? Um, it, although wow. they lose, but they really feel really happy. That's right. Really happy. Okay, so even though they lose and they don't have medal, that they don't have medal. On that day, um, they the most important thing is that they have fun, they enjoy, and they and they're having a blast in Thunder's birthday. So that's what is most important. Okay, so tonight we will continue. Since so, since we're talking about birthday, okay, so since we're talking about birthday, let us. Um, let us read and then um, write what's missing in each invitation. <laughs> so I want you to look closely, okay? I want you to read, think, and write what's missing in each birthday invitation. Okay, but before we do that, let me remind you this one. Here. Write an invitation, I mean, when you write an invitation to a party, always remember to write where it is. Where will be your party? So that's the number one thing that you will consider. Second is, what day is it? For example, you will say, um, it's on Monday. What day is it? Monday? Or day and the date, like Monday, October, October 4, 2021. Okay, so don't forget to write that in your invitation. And of course, the time, okay? The time is very important so that your visitors or your guests can know what time will they go to your party, okay? okay. So those are the things that you need to remember in writing an invitation. Okay, now let's try to read. And then we will answer what is missing in each invitation. Okay, so I will read for you. So let's, um, A, so we have it here. This is the first invitation. Dear Ben, come to my birthday party on Sunday. Please ask your sister to come too. Can you also bring your football? I can't find mine. The birthday party is in our garden. See you on Sunday, Tim. Okay, so in this invitation, what do you think is missing? Come to my birthday party on Sunday. Please ask your sister to come too. Can you also bring your football? I can't find mine. 
the birthday party is in our garden. See you on Sunday. Tim. Okay, so in that invitation, what is missing? So for example, you receive that invitation. So what do you think is missing? Mm -hmm. Again, we have the, the day, we have Sunday, that's the day where it is. So we have it here in our garden. That's where the party is. So what is missing? Mm -hmm. the, the, what, what is missing? Time. Time. That's correct. Okay, so if you can see the time is not stated in the invitation, meaning you didn't know what time will you go to the party on Sunday. Is it in the morning? Is it in the afternoon or in the evening? So make sure that you should um, write your invitation completely, okay? Don't forget the time, the place, and the day or the date, okay? Now, how about this one? So good job, that's correct. A is time is missing. How about here in B? We have it here, dear Oliver, please come to my birthday party on Saturday. Can you bring your running shoes? We'll have a race. <laughs> Mom says, don't bring your dog. Sorry, the party starts at three o'clock. See you on Saturday, Tara. Mm. Oh, what do you think is missing in that invitation? Please come to my birthday party on Saturday. Can you bring your running shoes? We'll have a race. Mom says don't bring your dog. Sorry. The party starts at 3 o'clock. See you on Saturday. What do you think is missing? Nothing is missing. Are you sure? We have here the day or yeah, the day, we have the time, and there's one thing that's missing. Oh, yeah, the place. Yeah. So, the place, that's correct. So, if you will read this one, like the place is not stated in the invitation, then you will not know where to go or well where the party will be because the place is not stated in the invitation. Okay, so it's very important that of course you should write the invitation. I mean the place. Okay. <laughs> okay, and here here last. See, the, okay, so anyway, place is B, so that's what is missing. Now let's go here, C. Dear Linda, please come to my birthday party. Can you please bring your purple pumpkin CDs and your high five CDs? Please ask your brother to come too. 
Jamie wants to play football with him. The party is at my grandma's house, 16 Station Road. It starts at 4 o'clock. See you there. Ooh. Good day. Okay, very good. That's right. Da? Wait, sorry. The date, okay? The date is not stated there. So you don't know where, when the party will be. <laughs> so if you receive that kind of um, invitation and you read, please come to my birthday party and you don't know when to come. Is it tomorrow, on Saturday, the next day, the next day? So, of course, it is very important that you should always put the time, place, and the date when you write an invitation and a birthday invitation. Okay. <laughs> Do you have a question about this one? No. No, is it all clear about writing an invitation? Is it clear? Yeah. Or do you have question? No. Okay, so here, this is your second homework on Friday. We have because we have it here, right? An invitation to your party. Ooh. It's very interesting. Okay. So let's say that you will have a party and then you will invite your friends. Okay, so let us. So let's say that um, you will have a party. Okay, and then you want to invite your friends. So of course you will need you will need to write an invitation to your party. So I want you to write, and of course remember to write where it is. What day is it? And of course, what time is it? <laughs> okay, so let's see that one on Friday. Okay. Mm -hmm. I'll, I'll see that one on Friday. Okay. Okay. Okay, now this time, what can you see in the picture? What are, where are they? <laughs> Two clowns. Okay, two clowns. Um, do you like clowns? Because there are people who are afraid of clowns. Are you afraid of clowns too? No. No, okay. Did you see that movie Joker? Yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna see you, Jet. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so here. Let's try to listen, and then after that, we will color them. You will color them. Okay? Clear? So I will let you listen, and then you can color that one. You can color. Okay, as you can see, there are some parts of their um, face that's not who doesn't have color so all you need to do is color them okay here please listen and color students book page 77 one listen and color can you see jolly he's the big clown with the long hair and the big ears Okay, can you color his nose red? <laughs> That's right, a big red nose. Now his eyes. Jolly's got blue eyes. Color them blue. Good. Now let's color his hair. What color? Hmm. Let me think. I know. Yellow. Let's colour his hair yellow. So, that's a red nose, blue eyes and yellow hair. 
He looks great. Now look at Poppy. She's the small clown with the short hair. She's wearing glasses. Her hair is green. Green hair. <laughs> That's strange. Now colour her nose. She's got a big orange nose. It's very funny. So that's green hair and an orange nose. Let's colour her eyes brown. Nice big brown eyes. Good job! Well done! Okay, that's finished. Okay, so since we don't have much time, so I will just ask you the what's their color, okay? You can just color them next time in our next class. But for now, let us see if you remember. Let us start off with Jolly. Can you color okay. Jolly? Can you just... Um, the Jolly has... Your... Yoli has a big red nose. Big red nose. Okay, what else? He has blue eyes and yellow hair. Okay, blue eyes and yellow hair. Okay, big red nose, blue eyes, and very good yellow hair. Oh, okay. How about his ears? Does it have a color? No. No, okay. How about Poppy? Poppy has a nice big brown eyes, green hair, and orange nose. Oh, green hair. Oh, look at that. So funny hair. Orange nose and brown. What's this? Why is it here? It's brown eyes, not brown color oh no it's so anyway i will let you color color this them in your next class on friday so just please keep your notes ready okay so that you can remember their color okay because it's time already okay so don't worry you i will let you color that one let's see if you can still remember the color of their eyes, nose, and hair, okay? Because my student is already here. Okay, wow. so do you have question, Anne, before we end our class tonight? Yeah. No, okay, are you sure? <laughs> yeah. Actually. Okay, so since you don't have question, Teacher will have to go now and see you again on Friday. And don't forget your invitation. Okay, and thank you so much. And tomorrow, see you, Ni. <laughs> see you. Bye-bye. Have a good night.